Well, a very good evening from the London Irish Centre here in Camden Square. It's been two and a half months of blood, sweat and tears for tonight's competitors. For many, the first time they have ever set foot in a competitive boxing ring. A hugely admirable venture from some of the city's ordinary folk. Tonight is their opportunity to do something that is anything but ordinary. A 600-strong crowd packs the main ballroom at this fantastic venue in the heart of the city. Friends, family and colleagues alike sit amongst the crowd. The glitz and glam of London's nightlife combined effortlessly with the grittiest and toughest of sporting disciplines. 13 fights scheduled on tonight's bill to buckle in for a big night of boxing here in London. This is Redemption. Stepping in two, the right corner makes a nice ball, Adam Crouch. 29-year-old Adam Crouch. He's uh, a chef. This is his second WCB fight. Lost his first one around Christmas time. So, yet again, chance for redemption for Adam. So he has got a little bit of nerves tonight. Not quite as many as his first fight. And I'm sure they'll soon be erased once that first bell goes. Described himself as having a relaxed style. Had it on good information. He's a southpaw as well. So Liverpool based Chris Long, he's a plasterer by trade working in London to save as much money as possible to buy his lovely wife the biggest ring she could find. He said he also fathers two brilliant kids. He isn't the tallest guy so hoping to bob and weave Muhammad Ali style tonight. He said he's a supporter of a team that haven't won anything in 10 years but keeps talking about history, Liverpool FC. I'll tell you what Chris, the form's anything to go by, that might all change in two or three months time. I'm backing them for the title. Fingers crossed. So in comes Chris Long. Tell you what, he's a dead ringer for Mark Wahlberg. So Chris, if you're watching this back and you've ever heard that one before, you heard it here first. He starts in the blue corner tonight. So Adam Crouch, I believe this will be his fourth fight overall. He's done a couple of other charity uh, boxing matches, second in the WCB. So the Southport against the Bobber and the Weaver, who will triumph. Second to last fight here, the penultimate one. The WCB redemption event tonight here at the London Irish Centre in Camden. Great night of action it's been as well. Second day of this double header. It all started eight weeks ago. And ten weeks ago for a lot of these fighters. It's the culmination of two months of solid work, progress, character building. All piled into six minutes of action so Adam Crouch taking to the outside of the ring as expected and Chris Long just bobbing and weaving into range getting off some nice shots and combinations in the first 30 seconds just padding away that jab is long Look at that head movement always moving moving from side to side it's coming well there Good example of how the shorter man can get into range. Yeah. 
He's pouring away. Adam Crouch's jab. Always difficult with this southpaw. Just feels like the jab's so much closer than when you're fighting an orthodox. So far, Chris Long just doing a good job of keeping that jab away, just padding it downwards, setting up his own attacks. And comes forward again. Pats those gloves together. Bites down on the gum shield, comes forward. Good work from Chris Long so far. And Adam Crouch on the right. Just trying to keep the range with that southpaw jab. The right hand lead as the bell goes. End of the first round. Good show of mutual respect as the fighters touch gloves at the end of that one. So one round down, two to go. To Adam Crouch in the red corner. Chris Long in the blue corner. Corner men giving instructions to both the fighters. So Chris Long is stuck to that game plan. He's coming in. Trying to come in from an angle, not coming in straight lines. Bobbing and weaving that head to get himself into range. He's managed it to an extent so far. And Alan Krauts will be trying to stop him doing anything but keeping it at range, keeping that right hand lead pumping out, keeping moving around the outside of the ring, getting his shots off from a distance. Two rounds of the schedule three. Coming up now. Chris Long comes forward again. Leads with the right hand this time. That's different. And looking for it again. Bobbing and weaving. Backing his man into the corner. Nice right hand from Long. This is better now. He's managed to find his range. But Crouch is meeting him for a scrap in the middle. That's one, two from Crouch. And again, but misses both. Then lands the lead jab. Chris Long composed, patient, waiting for his moment. Got his man bat up against the ropes. Can he get his shots off now? Krauts is meeting him. Landed a good couple of shots there, the man in the red corner. The four comes along again. Tenacious from the blue man. Chris Long just slipping that jab. Comes forward, nice right hand landed. Bang on the chin. And another. Beginning to find the target now. Kraut's just looking slightly more heavy-legged than he was in the first. And is this where all that work in the first round, moving his man around the ring, wearing him down. This is where it begins to pay dividends. And Chris Long can start to land a bit more regularly as he is now. Long padding away the jab, trying to throw the right hand over the top. Of course, it's more a, a left hook counter against the southpaw jab that tends to be more successful than the right hand, but at the moment, it's coming any which way for Long. Good second round from both men, and this fight developing nicely. Well poised for both fighters. And as we've seen on more than one occasion tonight, the third round almost certainly going to be crucial.
So the Liverpudlian Chris Long in the blue, Adam Crouch in the red. Third and final round, the penultimate fight of the night. Chris Long been working his way into range over the last two rounds, had a lot of success in the second round. Adam Crouch intent on keeping this fight at a distance. I say Styles make fights and these two perfectly poised for a cracking third round. Chris Long just pouring away Crouch's jab. Again catching it. Good work from Long but a nice long left southport strike from Crouch got through Chris Long got to get his man on the ropes he's trying there but Adam Crouch just managed to lock him up momentarily push him off and then get back into the centre of the ring Chris Long perhaps starting to feel the strain here. He's not moving forward quite as much as he was in the first two rounds. He's got to get his man backed up onto the ropes to get those shots off. He jabs, comes off the gloves. And Crouch with a laboured one too. Forward Long comes, solid right hand landed from Chris Long. That would have caught the judges' eye. Two men starting to look tired as Long comes forward with a laboured right hand. Crouch back with one of his own. It's going to be nearly time now. It is indeed the two men hugging the centre of the ring. Great encounter. Tactical affair. Certainly will be close. Be interested to see what the judges valued. Was Chris Long able to get in range and get enough shots off to impress the judges? Or was Adam Crouch able to do enough in keeping the Liverpudlian at range and dictating the pace of the fight? Just depends on how you score it. It's going to be close either way. Long did indeed do enough for the judges. Although well, his football team may not have won anything in years, he's certainly the winner tonight. Great performance, great spirit, great heart. And he will go away a happy man this evening. Chris Long from Liverpool in the blue corner is victorious over Adam Crouch.